Hey guys, I'm just out here at Lurgadurk and I'm about to show you uh, this gold mine here. And uh, I've just had a property dispute with a wombat at the end of the mine, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll go in there on uh, more friendly terms this time around. Because uh, I just got charged by him, so that was interesting. Oops. I haven't come across him before, so uh, yeah, I uh, was a little bit sort of taken off guard to be honest. Alrighty, so what we've done here is they've actually tunneled in underneath the ancient riverbed, uh, as you can see, and uh, fossicking for gold uh, in that way. Underneath here, you'll see all smaller drives going off to the sides, but nothing uh, too substantial. So you can actually see the stars. In under here as well. Not a big fan of uh, super small crawl spaces. So uh, I won't be uh, venturing in that direction. Now the roof is quite a uh, Quite low here, so it's sort of like a, a squat walkabout. So you see many drives going off. So in here, you can see the stalls uh, left and right, straight ahead. Uh, Basically what's happened is one of the drives there, they've backfilled it with uh, rocks, uh, obviously to go off in another direction. Um, I recently heard that there'd been like a, a rock caving and that type of thing in here, uh, but that's not the case. I've just had a good look around and uh, not seeing any of that whatsoever. There's actually a loop inside of this uh, mine also, uh, which is actually off in this direction. And uh, what we'll actually do, we'll come back to that. But we'll go straight ahead from here. Again, I've gone off in every direction here and uh, thoroughly had a good look about. Just to make sure there's no other hidden surprises in here. The roof is actually quite low. Uh, as I said, you do hit your head on it a fair bit. And I would really recommend that if you come in here, you wear a helmet as I did have a river rock fall from the ceiling uh, just before. Had I not had a helmet on, I definitely would have split my head open. Um, so again, this actually doesn't go off anywhere. Just trying to lift this light up a bit more. Alrighty. So here's this loop that I was actually talking about. We'll come back this way. And up here is the wombat zone. I hope he's in a better mood. So 
So where we just came to the uh, the dead end, that's actually, uh, if you turn left, we go up through here, you'll get back into the main, the main run. Oh. Again, we'll just bring the light on in here, and as you can see, again, they'll come to the face. See the uh, little crystals here? They're actually growing on the uh, on the floor, which is a pretty neat little feature. You can actually see where they've been chipping away with the pick here. So by the looks of it, it's all been sort of like hand cut. I'm not seeing any uh, small little drill holes where they've actually put explosives in. I would say uh, with this type of, you know, the, the river rocks all sort of you know, compressed together, that certainly wouldn't be a very smart idea using explosives in here. Hey, one bat, I'm coming back in. Oh, there you are. You can see him hiding up the back up here. We won't uh, disturb him. Again, you can see uh, just some crystals here growing on the floor. So what had actually happened before, I'd walked in here. I turned here, come face to face with the wombat and uh, basically uh, try to talk him down. Because, you know, they can get a little bit upset when they're cornered. And, uh, yeah, he rushed me and uh, ran straight past me. Luckily, uh, oh, he didn't give me a nip. I certainly did, uh, did yell at him. Not meaning to, but it gave me a bit of a fright, actually. And that's it. We come to the face. So spectacular little mine. And uh, one that you can, you know, come here with your kids, but as I did say, try and get them to wear a helmet. Actually, see his little burrows here. Uh, there's some in some other drives as well. And uh, we'll see you, buddy. Take care. Have a good day. So it's quite tiring when you're uh, squat walking for a little while.
So I've just lost my headlight. Uh, the battery's come unplugged, but uh, we'll just keep going. And here is the area uh, that I heard that, you know, there'd been a cave in. But I did have a good look about. And you can definitely see all the way back there. It's been backfilled. Obviously, as I said, to progress forward and not have to take rock back outside. And again, we're back to uh, the stalls and uh, back to where I left my backpack. So that's it, guys. That's a bit of a look around this cool little mine here at our Lurgadurg. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, the adventure rolls on from here.